It is indeed, Jamie. It's much like us. We are loving the bit of sunshine that is coming down. And earlier I was referring to the dwarf mongoose that Hosanna was watching. And so there they are on top of their mound. And we're probably, I would say, maybe 50 meters from the mound where um, Hosanna was sitting and is now completely fast asleep. He's dropped his head down and has gone flat, flat, flat and is almost invisible in the grass. But these are the dwarf mongoose that were catching his attention for a short period of time. And you can see there's one that's right on top and is watching out for the rest. The rest of them have started to move. They've come down the mound and they are now in the grasses and probably going to go and try and find food. But you'll find there's always a sentry that's kind of sitting on top and is watching and looking and making sure that the rest of them are all nice and safe and should it spot anything like Rosanna it will alarm call and they'll all come bounding into the mound. Ooh, we can see a little tail sticking out now so maybe some more of them will come out and start to sun themselves. When I first spotted them there was quite a number of them. I see there's one that's come out onto the log there now where there's some sun. That one's going back in. He's warm now. If you go down a little bit Senzo you'll find another one. There we go. He's found himself a perfect patch of sun on that fallen over log. And I really love dwarf mongoose. They're such a interesting little creatures and always seem like they're up to no good. They kind of scuttle about everywhere and they're always watching and looking and seem to be really having a good time with life. So they're one of my favorite little creatures and it really is amazing the sort of social interactions that they have and the amount of sort of cohesion they have as a group is very, very interesting to watch. Especially bearing in mind that they are little carnivores. If you look at most carnivores out here, very few of them are actually pride animals or pack animals. You've just got the wild dogs and the lions really. The rest of them tend to spend a large majority of their life on their own. So it's a quite an unusual thing for such a tight-knit unit of carnivores and the mongoose families all tend to display that. Well, not all mongoose, but the banded and the dwarf mongoose.